What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So this week I've been using the add-on Fluent, which is a hard surface modeling tool that you can use inside of Blender. Um, today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about how to use the grid settings to quickly add a grid inside of a shape. If you guys are interested, I can do more tutorials on using add-ons like Fluent. So leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. But I will link to this add-on in the notes down below and let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so we're going to use the add-on Fluent, which you can find in Blender Market. And uh, in this particular situation, we're going to use the $29 version, which is the one that comes with the cutter add-on as well as these other creation tools. So like the grid tools and the cloth panel. Specifically in this video, we're going to focus on the, uh, on the grid tools. And so what we want to do is we just want to create a shape and we just want to add a grid across it. So let's create something using Fluent. So I have Fluent active, so I'm just going to tap F, and I'm going to start by clicking the button for Create. So what the Create tool is going to do is that's going to allow me to draw a shape, like this one, and I can click, and I can move my mouse up and down. And so we're also going to click and hold our mouse, and then mouse over this first bevel. So we're going to keep this fairly minor. I'm going to Let's see, I'm going to right click, then I'm going to hold the F key to show my wireframe just so I can see the geometry in here. Well, what we want to do now is we want to create a couple openings in here and then create a grid across them using Fluence tools. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to hold the F key and we're just going to mouse over the cut or add. And what we want to do is we want to click and drag or actually single click and then move our mouse, move our mouse and then click again just like this. And basically what we're doing in here is we're creating just kind of an, we're just kind of creating a cut into this shape. And so notice how with the cut into this shape, what this is doing is using a Boolean in order to do that. And so one thing I wanna do is I wanna click and hold my mouse and notice how I have the option in here to mirror. And so I wanna set this to mirror on the green axis by clicking here and on the blue axis by clicking here just like this and then we can right click in order to finish this so what we've done is we've used our booleans in here to create our cuts into our original shape well now what I want to do is I want to add a grid notice this option will only show up in the $29 fluent power trip version but the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to tap the F key and first thing I'm going to do is click on show or hide boolean objects the reason for that is so that I can actually select this boolean right here but then I'm going to type the F key and I'm going to go find the option for grid and so when I find the option for grid, it looks like it didn't do anything, but it actually did. Now that tool is active. You can see the menu over here. Well, I'm gonna click and drag. And when I click and drag, what this is gonna do is this is gonna give me options for different kinds of grids that we can add in here. So in this case, I'm gonna select the option for the triangles. Well, notice how what this does is this adds the triangle grid inside of this Boolean object. So it's basically creating this grid inside of the Boolean. Well, what I can do is I can click and hold my left mouse button and see how there are options in here. Well, I can, for example, move my mouse over grid size and let up, and then I can move my mouse in order to adjust the size of the grid. So I'll move my mouse and then I'll click. When I click, what that does is that resizes this um, inside of my model. So I can also click and hold and we're going to go over solidify, move our mouse up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this just a little bit more thickness. So something like this. So one thing you might have noticed about this is kind of on the front end, it's kind of going around the outside of this opening. Well, we don't necessarily want that. That We want this inside of the hole. So I'm just going to click and drag over position. Then I'm just going to move my mouse in order to move this grid around. So you can see what this does is this allows you to place grids inside of your cuts really easily. So let's say, for example, that we were to right click in order to finish that. And we'll type F and we're just going to add another cut on our object. So I'm just going to create a rectangle right here. Move my mouse until this cuts back in here a little bit. Then I'm gonna right click. Then all I have to do is just do the same thing where I select the Boolean, type F, click on grid, click and hold. And that's gonna allow me to create this grid in here. So I'm gonna click and drag. I'm gonna adjust my grid size down like this. And 
I'm going to position it by um, clicking and holding, moving my mouse over position, and then moving this back. So this is a super fast way to add grids using the Fluent tool inside of Blender. So instead of having to go through and figure out all the, all the different uh, modifiers and other things like that that you need in order to create this, you can literally just use this tool in order to do that. So this is just a quick tutorial showing you how to use the grids inside of Fluent. If you're interested in more Fluent tutorials, leave a comment down below and let me know. Or if you have any issues, leave a comment down below with any questions that you have. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.